Hey you guys, so I'm back with another message from the Lord And this dropped in my spirit, but God had reminded me that We are going to start to see a lot of stuff like this and um, A lot of stuff like this on the horizon And I did a video about this And I'm going to try to link it in the description Where I talked about um, People that carry a religious spirit, religious leaders And It's one thing to try to correct a person with love, but it's another thing to try to condemn a person. And I'm noticing and I'm seeing a lot of religious leaders, a lot of religious spirited people, they are trying to condemn other people, which the Bible speak of us trying to condemn each other. All right, in Romans chapter 2. If I'm not mistaken, um, it talks about when people try to condemn you, they're only condemning themselves. But for you to be a woman or a man of God that's holding a high position, you should know better not to try to condemn someone else. It's like these people, they get saved. Religious leaders, Pharisees, they claim to know God and they claim to be saved, but the law or the word applies to everyone else instead of them. And and these are people in high places. And that's why God said, or he reminded me, that judgment is coming. You know, in 2024, we're going to see miracle signs and wonders. And we're really going to see judgment happen within the judicial system and the church all at the same time. But it really surprises me when people do that it shouldn't surprise me but it's like you shouldn't you know better okay instead of trying to condemn someone try to talk to that person with love or come with love and say hey i know what you're doing is not of god i've been there before and i just want to say share my story and my testimony so you won't fall into the same tricks in the spot and the, the same traps and tricks of the enemy because i've been there god reminded me of the story of like naomi and ruth like god wants a lot of his children to be naomi's naomi wasn't selfish naomi helped ruth because she knew she wanted better for ruth she wanted ruth to able to be married and not to have to be a widow and go through what she had went through so because of that she helped Naomi helped Ruth and that's what we're supposed to be doing in the body of Christ not condemning each other and this is Romans chapter 2 verses 1 it says you may think you condemn such people but you are just as bad and you have no excuse when you say that you they are wicked and should be punished you are condemning yourselves for who you for you who judge others do these very same things and these people they might be condemning other people or building their platforms up by condemning other people. However, you are doing stuff that's wrong that you are wrongfully doing in the public and nobody is not supposed to call you out. Nobody else can't check you. That's a religious spirit. And a lot of stuff we're going to see in this season in this hour, especially in 2024, that God is about to deal with. In a previous video that I put, one of the signs that we will see when someone is religious or a false prophet or someone that is operating in a Pharisee spirit, operating in a religious spirit, and they call themselves ministers, prophets, and whatever, is they love money more than they love people. They love money more than they love people. And we are going to start to see that. We are going to start to see these people go through because it's not about the people's souls, it's about their money. And they love money more than they love people. They are in positions where they can help people. But will not help these people because of the spirit of greed. But yet you want to sit up here and build your platform and talk about how people dress. How people are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But yet you're building your platform off of the love of money. And not people. You love more money more than you love people. And I'm starting to see that because it's just like... Now how do they feel comfortable with what they're doing 
but try to condemn other people. And then God reminded me of Romans chapter 2 and 1. And I'm like, yeah, God, you did remind me that we are going to start seeing these things in the end times, in the last days. And when judgment hit, these are the main people that are going to go through. We're going to see people in high places go through. But I just want to let you guys know that you're going to start to see some of these things, okay? And some of y'all have went through some of these things with people that was in high places, that had high followings, followers, try to embarrass you, trying to condemn you for what you are doing because they think it's right. But when people are doing that, trying to condemn you, they're only condemning themselves. The Bible tells us to judge not, for you will, for ye will be judged. And when measure ye met, we will be measured, it will be measured unto us again. We can't judge nobody. We can give correction, but we can't judge nobody. We can't condemn nobody. Especially when we are not in when we are wrongfully sinning and we're no we're no we're wrongfully sin, sinning the bible says take the moat out of our own eye before we can take the moat of our, out of our neighbor's eye so a lot of these people like i said they're building their platforms on tearing other people down they have more more they they love money more than they love people and god is exposing them in this hour they're actually exposing themselves but go back and watch the video, guys, when I talked about the signs of the false prophets and what we're going to be seeing in this hour. So you know that um, we are in the end times and you know that judgment is soon to come because a lot of them are starting to expose themselves through their actions. And they're thinking that um, people are not noticing, but the spiritually awoken people, the ones that God is dealing with, we see them for who they are. We, we know that judgment is about to hit them hard and they're trying to deflate on other people. Because now the light is on them. Because now they're really about to be exposed in this hour. Okay, don't fall for the trap. Um, pray for them. Because like I said, um, judgment ain't going to be pretty, y'all, in 2024. It's not going to be pretty. We are going, like I said, 2024 is going to be the signs, miracles, signs, and wonders. And God is going to take care of his children. But he's also going to deal with the ones that are being disobedient. They're going to go through. We're going to see like the times of Noah. We're going to start to see those things, the things that Daniel had prophesied. We are going to start to see those things real soon. We're starting to see some of them, but we're going to start even seeing even more. So pray for these people. Don't follow their traps. Don't follow behind their demise. If you know better and you know these people are doing wrong, get from around them. Because I'm telling you, because if you continue to listen to these people, if you continue to follow behind them and follow up with them and support their wrongdoings, God is going to deal with you too. All right. You're going to experience the wrath too because you know better all right i don't care how high a position that these people are carrying i don't care what type of following they got god is going to deal with them they're human just like us they got to go through judgment just like us we all have to go through judgment ain't nobody different okay i don't care what type of title they they hold i don't care what they're doing in life if you're not being obedient to god if you are doing something if you are doing something despitefully wrong and you know you're wrong and you know you're out of place god is going to deal with you all right so um stay encouraged stay prayed up ask god to strengthen your spirit of discernment in this time because a lot of us we're really going to have to be ye separated in 2024 and being ye separated away from ministries that operate like this because ministries that operate like this are the occult ministries um so we need to stay away from stuff like this because like i said you don't want to experience god wrath you don't want to experience the judgment of being attached to something that you weren't supposed to be attached to all right so just wanted to come and share what god has dropped in my spirit but um i love you guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i will chat with you all later